things, Matt, I'll bring you a walk through on your 2021 Alpha Wolf. I want to start right here. So this is your main power jack, up and down. You have the little light with it. You have a manual override here. There's a hand crank inside. For some reason, you lose your hand crank, get you a 9 16 socket, get you a wrench or um, a drill, be a lot easier on you. Right behind it, get your 220 pound propane tank. The oil feels ready to go. Uh, you got your regular air supply line. When the arrow's pointing to the tank, that means what? That means it's on this one. Um, wherever this runs out, the screen's gonna turn red. Flip it over this one, turn this one, you're good to go. Right behind it, add in battery box. Uh, with that, you do have a solar on top. And with that solar, as long as you get some of the energy, everything but your AC and microwave and outside. Behind that, it's your docking lights, blue lights, just for show, pretty much. Right here, you got your front compartment. It goes all the way through. So in here, you got your uh, solar control board. Shouldn't have to mess with that. Down below is your battery disconnect. So on that, whenever you're short for the winter, go ahead and shut that off. It's gonna shut everything off your battery that way, nothing runs down. Um, on both sides of the compartment, you do have uh, essential lights. So when you open the door, it's gonna automatically come on. So, this hand crank here is for your main jack. We just talked about it. That's your, uh, your override for your jack. This one here is for your stabilizers. Now, your stabilizers, you got two in the front, two in the back. They're not for leveling, just for stabilizing. So, you take your campsite, you level it out, and then you put them down. Um, and for some reason, use your hand crank, get your three quarter socket, get a drill. It'll be a lot easier on you. Uh, right next to it is your dog leash. You got a dog, a cat, whatever. You put them on that. Right here, you have a TV mount for outside. You got the same one inside, the uh, other mounts inside also. Um, it just slides right in. Now, if you do buy a TV for this, take the other mount wherever you buy the TV, that way you use the same pattern in the back. Um, you should where you hook your TV up. I know it says cable, but you also hook your TV up there. You got your outlets, two outside speakers, they do work and they do light up. All right, here you got your outside kitchen. You got your outside freezer and refrigerator. And it's nice, cold, ready to go. Now this one runs off short power. So once you unplug short power, it's gonna shut it off. Plug it back in, it's automatically gonna turn it back on. Um, you also got the blue lights. It's this switch here. And this button turns that light off. You also have an outlet. You got the outside um, sink. You got storage up top. Little storage down here. Your LP connect, if you have an outside grill, it's just a quick connect, you pop that off, just like that, and little valve, that means it's on, that's off. Alright, so this is your outside bathroom, go straight into a bathroom. Alright, this is your black tank plus, and what that is, you put a hose up to it, you turn it on, make sure you're hooked up to a drainage out on your other side. What that does, it just pretty much cleans out the inside of your black tank. All right, you do have a backup camera if you see. Uh, now on that inside, you have to download an app. It's called the One Control. Once you download that, what you do, you go to Add Device. You have to scan that sticker there, which you have another one in a second do. But it goes off your phone. It's all Bluetooth nowadays. And how you hook it up, once you hook it up to your truck the seven way, turn your running lights on, and it automatically comes on your phone. Uh, below that, you have a bike rack and your spare tire. Now, the bike rack don't go over two to 300 pounds. It's just for luggage, firewood, stuff like that. No, nothing big. Um, when you get your sewer hose, the store, pop that off, slide it right in there. So, on your driver's side, in the back between the two slides, you have your power cord. Now, that's your power cord. It comes with the camper. It's a 50 amp. Uh, most campsites have 50 amps. If they have 30 amps, they do make adapters from 50 to 30, 50 to 110. Uh, down left of it is going to be your drainage for your back bathroom. You got the gray on the left, and you got the black on the right. Um, the gray is going to be your wastewater, black is going to be your sewers. Uh, when you pull it, it means it's open. When you push it back in, it means it's closed. All right, here you got your water hookups. This is your fresh water. That's if you're in a dry camp, put water in fresh water tank. Uh, 
this one here is a city water. Now on this one, you got a water hook up your campsite, hook it up there, you're good to go. Water's going to go. Now on this, we do recommend a water regulator. That's um, it's going to reduce the pressure on your water lines. I think ours is like 40 to 55 psi. On the right of that, it's another black tank flush. So this one's going to do the front one. The other one on the other side is going to do the back bathroom. Oh, you got the cable hook up. You got your satellite hook up here. You got the outside shower, hot and cold. You got an outside light. This is your water heater. Now on your water heater and your furnace, um, furnace vents, we do sell bus screens. You can get them where like Amazon online somewhere. But on your water heater, it is electric and gas. Right here is the electric turn on switch. So throughout the season, go ahead and keep that on because once you plug it back to um, shore power, it's going to turn it on. Um, when you go to winterize it, what you want to do on your water heater is you want to make sure you turn it off, go behind this, it's called the bypass. You want to turn the two valves the opposite of the way on now. That prevents the water going into the water heater. You want to come out here, lift this up, get all the fresh out of it, take this rod out, let it drain, put the rod back in, and you're good to go on your water heater. Um, like I said, next to it is your furnace vent. Just be careful, it does get really hot, so don't touch it when it's on. Uh, below it, it's going to be your drainage for your, your bathroom and your front kitchen. Now the left is going to be your black tank, and the right is going to be your gray. So just like the back, uh, black is going to be sewer, gray is going to be way smarter. When you do drain it, do the gray, then do the black, then the gray. That way the gray washes all that nasty stuff away. So if you look back there at the red and blue uh, lines, they're my low point drains. So you go do winterize it, go ahead and open them up. It's gonna take all the water out of your lines. Um, the white drain there is a uh, fresh water drain. That way if you wanna uh, drain your fresh water tank, open that up, it's gonna drain it all out. All right, these are your stairs going in. And they're the same on the back to your back bathroom. But they lift right on up. Make sure the white tabs not up lip. That way scares it. You want to pull it to release it, get it out. Now, when you get to your campsite and you get it level, what you want is you want this black flush with the gray. If there's a gap in there, what can happen is you shut your door. You can scrape this up in the bottom of it. You don't want that. Now you do that. If you push these in and adjust your feet. All right, this is your main control panel here. So these are all your indicators. You got your battery, fresh, black one, black two, gray one, gray two. You push them, tell you how full they are. If you see the red line goes up, the battery means it's full. You do have a little bit of water in your fresh water tank, and they're all are all empty. Right, this is your water pump. Now on your water pump, you're hooked up to city water. You don't even worry about that. That's just if you're dry camping, you have to get uh, you got water in your fresh water tank. That's how you get it out. Now this is your gas water here to switch. Uh, like I said, it is on electric right now. It is hot. You can turn them both on for a speed of recovery if you wanted to, or you can go strictly to gas. Uh, now these are your light switches here. So you got the LED lights inside. This is your outside awning and speaker lights. This is your living room. And this is your kitchen. And down here you have three slides. Now on your slides, make sure doors are closed, nothing in the way, nothing on the floor, especially rocks. Cover up on the floor, you slide it in and catch it right and scrape the floor up. So just make sure everything's cleared out. Um, when you do slide it in and out, when you hear a click, it means it's done. But you got all three. Now down here, you got your awning. Now your awning, you kind of have to peek out and look at it. So when you bring it out, at the end of it, there's going to be a flap that drops down. Once that flap gets even on the end of it, it's when you want to stop. Um, if it starts getting windy outside, just go ahead and put it back in. You don't want to risk ripping your arms off or ripping the awning. So right there is when you want to stop. That's perfect. If you keep on going, it's going to roll back up backwards. Most time you can push your track, get it back out, but sometimes it'll mess it up also. Um, on both sides, it really doesn't matter. Whenever it starts to rain, what you want to do as I'm loosening this, you want to push it in, tighten it back up, 
And what that's going to allow is the water just to run right off. And you can do it on both sides, it really doesn't matter. You pour your roll back in, and you want to unloosen it. It's going to go back to where it was. Just tighten it back up, and you're good to go. All right, let's your front bedroom. So in here, you got the TV hook up with the outlet. You get a TV back here. Now, usually right behind the sticker, it's going to be a four by four wooden stud. Uh, I tell everybody to get a stud finder, find your studs before you put holes in your wall. Um, below it, you got your exit window. The screen just pops right out. You pop this out, pull towards us, and push that on. All right, here you got a charging port for a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, to get it, you have to go through Furion. It has nothing to do with us. It's just a, it's something you're really selling. But on this side, you got USB ports. That way, if you can charge your phone, your iPad, whatever. Below it, you got your uh, your outlet. You got stores on both sides. You got stores up top, goes all the way through. Um, on that side, you do have US uh, B port with another outlet. So all your lights in here, they are push buttons. You got one there, you got two up here. Um, with your ducking, you can move the vent, that way it can go down on you when you're sleeping. And then, one more thing, you got storage underneath your bed. And that's gonna be the top of your sink. So like going into your bedroom, you have a door here, of course. It just snaps and it slides. You put it back when you travel you always want to snap it put it in place if not you go around corners it's going to mess that door up all right this is your front bathroom you got your motion sensors light here it's a little night light so when you walk in at night it's going to turn right on oh you got your sink you got a little storage up top you got your outlet and your lights in here they are push buttons just like the bed, bed the bedroom um you got your toilet here. You just push down. Put more water in it. You barely push it. Fill it up. All right. Beyond this paneling here, you take the two screws out, and that's going to be your water here bypass. If you remember correctly, I told you to when you want to rise it, you want to come here, turn the valves the opposite way. It's going to prevent the water going through water here, and then you do your stuff outside. Um, up above here is your first tank treatment. So you're putting your uh, uh, black tank, your holding tank, or whatever. It's gonna make it smell good. Oh, uh, you got stores up top. You got your vent up top. Now on this, you want to pull this down to release it, and then crank it to get up. That's gonna let hair come in here. And you got your fan speeds. You got four speeds. That's to turn it off. Once you bring it back down, go ahead and push that up. That's gonna lock it in place. Uh, this is your shower, of course. So when you do travel, you want to close it and make sure it's secure. That way, nothing breaks or anything like that. All right. You have a Wi-Fi hot hot spot hooked up. Uh, has nothing to do with us. You have to go through your phone service get all that hooked up. Uh, right below on the left is going to be your digital readout for your solar and battery. So when you're plugged up, that's going to stay between 12 and 14. That's normal. When you're running off of solar, if it goes below 10 voltages, when you start plugging it back up, your uh, refrigerator is going to shut off, your light's going to go dim. So just remember that. On the right, you got your thermostat. Um, for your AC, keep them on full auto. That's going to keep that compressor on high. Then you got your heat, that's your furnace. Now, you do have two ACs, and since you're a 50 amp, you can run both at the same time. Um, just remember, if you start running the uh, microwave, start plugging stuff in, you're going to blow a breaker. Um, now your furnace is strictly gas, so if you turn your furnace on, make sure it's propane in your tanks. Uh, on your control board, I forgot to mention, this uh, sticker here, if you scan that, you can get all this on the app on your phone. So you can charge your lights, your water heater, your slides, your awning off your phone, off an app. Now once you scan that, get it all downloaded and set up, you want to go add device. This here is your backup camera. Once you scan that, it's going to pair it to it. And like I said, for it to turn on, you have to be plugged up your truck and you have the running lights on. And then it's automatically going to come on. So here, you got more storage. Down below, it's going to be your furnace. Now, if you ever need to get to it, like your tool eyes, just take the screws off, take that off. It's literally right there. 
of on your slide. Your blinds, we call them zebra blinds, so you can black it out, have a little bit, bring it all the way down. So when you travel, you want these all the way up. By the way, I don't mess anything up. Well, your lights here are also push buttons. Same with them too. Um, on your dinette, you got stores on both sides, and they go all the way through. Dinette, it just make it feel bad. Pop it right off. And if you see, they come right out. And what you do is you put this with a velcro is on this. And when it when it sets down, at least you right in the middle, and your back cushions just fall right in. All right, your couch makes it do bad also. This fact's are pretty simple. You want to lift up and just pull right on out, just like that. And reverse it going back in. You do have storage on the bottom for comforts or whatever. All right, this is your entertainment center. You got the outlet, USB hookups. So you got your TV and satellite up here. So when you get your TV, satellite, just hook it up to here. That's your antenna right there. Uh, when you watch TV or listen to your radio, keep that on and just push off and push on. Um, when we go to campsite, campsite, do the idle scan, it's gonna pick up more channels. So this is your radio. On your radio it's Bluetooth, Optical, and HDMI and USB. Um, if you look up here, the aux is actually going through your radio. So once you turn it on and you're hooked up to your aux cord up here, you want to go to mode. AV is here. So you can watch off your phone or off your radio to the TV. Um, you got Bluetooth, HDMI, and you got the radio. Um, Put, uh, push to mute it and hold to shut it off. Now, all right, you got two zones. Zone one is inside, zone two is outside. If, if you look, you got a speaker there, you got a speaker here. And this one here is a subwoofer. Um, it's just another speaker, it don't bump or anything like that. Now you turn that on, so you go to sell. You go to sub, you turn it all the way up. And that's how you turn it on. And you just hold it and turn it off. Alright, this is your fireplace. Now it is all touch. Turn it on there. You got the digital read out here. So you got the color. You got the uh, temperature here. And it goes up to 99 degrees. You can have the display without the heat, so right there, no heat's coming out. So this is your main fridge inside. Like I said, it's 12 volts, so it's gonna off the battery and solar. We're not plugged up. Um, if you ever wanna shut it off, come in here, hold that set button for two seconds, and it's gonna shut it off. Same way, turn it back on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Like I said, it is 12 volt. Get storage up top. You got their exhaust fan, light. Now all new stove and oven. Make sure this is down to scale like that when you travel. If not, it's gonna shatter. It folds up. You got the light with the light inside. Um, how you light your st uh, stove is you turn on high, like shirt and iron. It's literally one click. Your oven's a little different. You turn it to the flame you wanna push in. Light your pilot with igniter, hold for a second, it's in set your temps. You got the temps right there. Um, and behind it, you do have a cutting board. It's all magnetic. You got your microwave. It's a regular old microwave. These are also push buttons. And then you got the uh, stores down bottom. All right, you got your island here. You got your faucet, got your sanitization center. Now all this, how to get to the bottle. Go down here, if you look way up there, it's an unscrewable bottle. You just unscrew it, put whatever liquid in it, screw it back up, you're good to go. Um, you got storage on both sides, it's all the way through. All right, of course you got drawers here. You got the top drawer. Your second drawer, you got your fireplace remote. 
You have a Nilly TV bracket, just in case you lose your first one. This is all your paperwork for your order mail for your appliances. Anything you need to know for your appliances is in here. Uh, you got a tool for your camper. Now all your screws in here are a number two square bit. That's what that is. And you got a new battery for a smoke detector. And then you got your bottom door. And then down here is going to be your LP carbon icing sensor. If the gas leak goes off, it's going to indicate it. And then up here, this is another app for your owner's manual for your actual camper. So to get to it, you have to go to the Forest River website, find your model number, download the app, and you're good to go on that. All right, on your AC, it is ducted to the camper, just from the front to the back, or from the middle to the front. So when you shut them, we're going through the white duct, as you can see. It's going to go through this kitchen to the front bedroom, that way it goes down your bedroom. Um, your filters are washable. You take them out, run them through the sink, let them dry, put them back in. Um, you have LED lights in your uh, your island, and it's the same switch as your uh, your side lights. It's the inside uh, LEDs. You got the USB, your outlet. Now, if you see these black ducts, that's for your heat. It's ducted on the bottom, so all the black ducts you get your heat. All right, this here is your breaker box and fuse box. So you got your breakers and your fuses. So if a fuse blows, you're gonna see a red light right there. That way it indicates you. It's gonna tell you exactly which one is blue. Um, now if you look on the right here, you got a brand new fire extinguisher. It's up to date, you should be able to pull the pin and take out the fire. All right, this is your back bedroom. Um, you got your bed with the couch in the bed. Now when you travel, we'll keep it up like this, that way when you're traveling it's not going up and down on you if you see the back bunk bed has the uh, capacity of 250 pounds do not go over that um, your lights are push buttons this is just like your living room one you just want to pull up pull out makes you do a bed and yet again you have more storage All right behind you you have your other bunk bed you got your outlet USB, you got your vent up back here. Now on your AC back here, it's a little different from your front one. This is how you turn it on. And you wanna keep it on high cool or low cool. That's gonna kick the compressor on, and this is your thermostat. Um, these are your vents. They don't shut it off completely. It just brings it up and down the air. Um, your entertainment center, you get your TV hooked up, you got your outlet. TV back here. Like I said, right behind the sticker should be a 4x4 stud. Get you a stud finder, find your stud before you put holes in your wall. On your ladder, no one over 200 pounds. They're pretty much just for teenagers, no adults. All right, and here you got your half bath. Um, you got the bin up top. It's just like going in the bathroom. You pull down, twist it, get it up, and you got the fan speeds. All right, you do have a vent up in here for the AC. By the way, it gets kind of hot in here. Um, you got storage behind it. You got another first timer tra tape treatment. You have another motion sensor. Now this here is a GS5. Now what that is, it's kind of like it's, um, a breaker for your outlet. So if your outlet's ain't working, you're plugged in. See if that's tripped and that's red. If that's red, just push it, reset it. You should be able to go. If that's not lit up or anything, check your breaker box. If that's tripped, and if that's not tripped, that means your GFI is bad. Uh, you got your sink, of course, you got the storage on the bottom, and then you got your toilet.